Hey, sis, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell you gonna love somebody else? <laughs> Hi, this is Steven Mandela here from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2. I am rude, rowdy and disrespectful, but you know what? You're here for it. Hi, I'm Tia Coffey and I'm the glamorous geek and the queen of Clapham. All right, babes, it's Bimini Bumbulash here from RuPaul's Drag Race Season 2 and I am East London's bendiest <laughs> I wanted to apply because I just wanted to see if I could do it because I've watched it for so many years and I've always I've always been one that sat there being like, I could do that. So I wanted to put my money where the mouth was. I am, I know some of the queens from season one. So basically I just wanted to do better than my friends because I'm really competitive. Drag is not what you see on that show. That's just one tiny little side of drag. I want to come on there and really just f it all up and really show you that drag is, you know, a wide spectrum of so many things and it's not just the one thing you keep seeing. Never apologize for looking sickening. <laughs> I think series two just pushes what you know from Drag Race and just beyond because the lip syncs are just out of this world, the performances are out of this world, the looks are out of this world, the comedy's out of this world and just the queens, all of us ourselves as the 12 we are, are just represent everything in the UK and it just pushes the boundaries of what drag is and it's just, um, it's on a, a level that's just beyond. You really get that sense of like British drag, British humour, British camp, British fashion, like everything. It's so different to the US version. And um, I think season two is a bit gaggy, to be honest. Yeah, like... gagged and gooped. Gagged and gooped. I think we're all shady, to be honest. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's more like the level of shadiness. Level of shadiness. We're all British though, it's all wink wink nudge nudge. Season one was the tip of the iceberg, season two is going a bit deeper. I think we're our season is going to open up as act as a catalyst to even more diversity on Drag Race. Yeah, I think season Agreed. three, season four, season five, you're going to see a lot more. You're going to see a lot more crazy things, which I think is going to be amazing. Me and Astina had bumped into each other about a week before in Dalston. <laughs> <laughs> and that's because we're like from near there. And obviously we're not like saying much. We're both coming out of the same like kind of makeup and hair shop. <laughs> oh, it was, hilar like, it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, no, it, was, it, was, it was two people and me and they go, hi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, where are you going? But um, mm, Oh, okay. Mm, yeah. Cool. See, love ya. <laughs> it was very loud. It was very loud. I mean, it was great to see Astina there because we're both like I said, same scenes. Um, we both won Missing the Pink. We're like family, so yeah. it's all love. Because with, I think, you know, filming in such a crazy time of, you know, of a pandemic, um, everyone was just so supportive and so understanding and, you know, followed the rules. It was hard, you know, we have to be social distance from everyone. So just being on a normal, on a set where you can't be, have that embracement with people and on a level you're so used to and it's really stripped back. It was yeah. quite hard for not just us, but you know, the people backstage and camera crew, Rue, Michelle, the guest judges, everyone had such a twist turn on what it is to film a show. So everyone was very supportive of each other and very understanding and, you know, it helped guide people and guide each other through this whole process of making the, the show. I think for me it was definitely the toilets. I thought they'd be nicer. <laughs> the team that, that works on that show are just incredible mm. and they're the unsung heroes yeah definitely yeah watch the credits pay attention to the credits credits is there the people you need to scream and shout out shout out because they yeah. have really done it expect <laughs> the unexpected 